Hey, hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and what we are looking at today is from Fluke. It's the T6 1000 Pro, brand new and I was given the chance by Fluke to trial it out for the last couple of months so I thought I would show you guys what is new about it and what I'm loving about it. Let's have a look. So as we first look at it, you can see it comes in this pretty nice little case. Has a couple of buttons on the back. Very durable, very strong. There's a bit of extra padding there, which is absolutely great. You can see these aren't normal buttons. Fairly high quality, which is great to see. And obviously that'll go around your belt buckle or your tool belt, which is great. Nice little compact unit. You've got the Velcro on the front opens up that just tucks away the cabling so it's all out of the way as we open it up this part just slides in and out as you can see that holds the meter in and then I just clip the the alligator clip to the side there like that so if we have a look at the different settings you can see you've got three settings plus the off if we go to the first one oh, you've got voltage so that'll do AC and DC. You can see it says auto select. So with the older models, I've got this one, the 117. This one actually has to choose between AC and DC. So this has the auto select, which is great. So you've only got the one setting and it'll um, choose it accordingly. And then next, you've got the field sense, which is the usage of this part here. So you can do frequency, amps, and voltage. And I'll go through that with you very soon. And I believe the accuracy of the field sense is usually, I think they say between three, plus three and negative 3%. So keep that in mind. From what I've seen so far, it's extremely accurate, but um, that's what they're saying in their guidelines. And then obviously you've got continuity and resistance. So then the other buttons we're looking at as well is obviously the hold. A lot of you guys would have seen that before. So you can keep the measurement on the screen while you're not actually touching the metallic parts. Then you've got a light. And this button here is to choose between in a few spots, I think in here. So you can see you've got voltage AC and it'll do your Hertz. So you can swap between those. I don't think it does here, yeah. So that's all that's for is just to change between those. That's when you're using the field sense. If you wanna see the Hertz or the voltage, you would just change between those and I'll show you that shortly. All right, so if we turn it around and have a look at the other side, you can see the leads are nicely tucked away. They're nice and tight. They won't fall out, which is great, but they're nice enough to pull out just pull up and back up and back very easily you can then tuck away either one so you can use that for testing that's always a handy feature and obviously in the back here is where your batteries are just two AA batteries so one of the next things I've really come to enjoy on this and I wanted to show you guys is it's only a small thing but these small things are massive when you're out in the field. And a lot of you guys will know with these old test leads, you can see that they're just rounded. They're perfectly fine for most gear, but to get them into any terminals, at least this is in Australia. So you guys over in the US um, and maybe UK, you all have different terminals. They do struggle to get into some of these terminals, especially with GPOs. We'll try a GPO after this, but with these ones, hopefully you can see it. If I spin it, you can see that that edge is flat and then it's actually narrow there. So that's wider, narrower. So what this allows you to do is get in way easier. That it's a massive thing for me. It's only a small thing really, small change, but you can see they get stuck. And then what you'll actually find, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, you can see that's actually bent. And that is 
from putting it into terminals and it getting stuck trying to pull them out. So no worries there, nice and easy. You still get a nice bit of contact there. We'll throw it onto an actual live GPO in a sec, but that is a huge difference. I really want to thank Fluke for that. Brilliant idea, nice and easy, but it goes a long way. So for a quick demonstration on a GPO, once again, you can see the difference in the sizes. Fits in there nice and easy. No worries at all. So no more getting stuck, having to pull it out and bending your leads. Goes in there nice and easy. Gets a nice reading. As you can see, it's nice to have that part there. I know a lot of the other meters do, but there are a couple that haven't. Great little function, having those leads like that. So the next feature that they've brought out on this model is for you guys that are in a more industrial environment, you might know that it's very loud and sometimes hard to see, maybe dark. So what they've brought out is visual continuity. So all they've done is, we'll turn the light off, make it a bit dark in here. If I go to continuity, wait for that to come up, touch it, you can see that it's actually green. Might even make it a bit darker. So it might be very dark, even with the light on, you might have trouble seeing. So what they've done is made it a lot easier. It's foolproof basically. You know that you have continuity. And you've obviously got the continuity sound. And what I found is this green light also comes up when you're using the field sense function, which we'll go test out right now. All right, so we're just inside a board at the moment. I'll show you how the field sense works. So obviously you want to be on field sense. And what I've done is change to the alligator clip to the ground. So I've grounded it. As you can see, there's nothing on there. Throw it over the cable. I hope you can see that it goes just from normal. Then you can see it goes to green. So that green light has come on on that as well. And you can see we've got the amps up the top. And you've got 240, 240 volts AC. So if we want to change it, as you can see, we've got 50 Hertz. You guys in America should have 60, but we've got 50 down here. And you can just change back and forth. You can see nice and easy, one-handed. Don't need to pull apart anything. You don't need to have the terminals showing. You just throw that straight on. Oh, caught up. You can take your reading and go on. It's very nice. We'll uh, throw on the hold button. There you go, you can walk away, write down your results, and off you go. So a few other things, obviously the leads come off like that. That's how I had the alligator clip on there. So they just swap over. And that way you can always replace these if they ever break, which is a great feature. And the size of the prongs, in between the prongs is 17 mil. So it's actually larger than a lot of the older versions, which is absolutely great, especially for such a sensitive function uh, usually they had to do it a lot smaller because of the sensitivity and i think i said it before it's plus or negative three percent with the field sense so what i have seen is they are still very very sensitive very close to what the actual amperage or voltage is so i haven't seen any worries maybe if you're getting up to around the 200 amps which is what this goes up to you might start to see a little bit but there's not enough to really worry about so this really is a great new unit to add to my kit. I have been using the 117 in the past. I've had this for over 10 years. It's been absolutely brilliant. I will be getting another magnet for this one because this one actually doesn't fit. But I've been also trying to figure out any problems or things I can foresee in the future with the meter that Fluke could do better. I really can't see anything. I'm hoping you guys can give me any information, any ideas of what you think they could do better for the future. Definitely hit me up in the comments about that. So with this one, obviously the field sense, really good, great safety feature. It just makes life easier. You don't have to have live terminals. 
You don't have to shut anything down and you can just throw it in, get a reading, move on. Obviously the leads, the smaller leads, smallest little change, but absolutely love it. It's almost life changing. Um, I'm sick of getting these old ones stuck, getting them bent and then they break in the future. So just a small little change like that is really great. And then obviously you've got the continuity, which you can now visually see. Um, really great, bright green light, absolutely love it. Overall, great new tool. Make sure to check it out. The T6 1000 Pro from Fluke. Can't beat it. Cheers, guys.